not sell, period. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. But we are going to have to get to Lunacy and X. And this is... Lucina. Wow. This is, um... I can't tell you if I've ever seen this in bracket, honestly. I've never seen this. What happened? Yes. I'm confused. Yes, they're correct. Um, so, right here, we have... So, I've played X before in... I, a lot of marks, but um, X particularly likes to be aggressive, likes to really like stay perfectly at tipper range and press as many sword buttons as he can, make sure that you do not get space to breathe. Uh, Lunacy, not a player I've seen before. Let's see how this Lucina fares, you know. This is interesting because normally Lucina wants to stay at max spacing, but against Marth, Marth will actually beat you at that spacing. Marth has a better sword when you're as far away as possible, so... We have Absolutely. to see how Lucy plays around that. I mean, but then again, just because you are, you know, able to outspace somebody doesn't always mean everything. But you know what doesn't mean a lot? That back air right there taking that first stock. Very good on X's part. And ready to put on some more damage. Have to be very careful about how you actually play this matchup. I definitely love both Mar and Lucina as a characters. The way they have to kind of really play neutral just because of how good their initial dash speed, if I remember correctly, it is really good. Yeah, they really have a good, good dash, yeah. Yeah, and it oh, just, it just did it right there. Absolutely. Really, you know, contributes to their very good neutral. Oh, going for it all with a downer right there. I like the attempt because you have a stock lead and that wasn't a rough air dodge from Lunacy. And right here, you know, it's kind of an awkward situation in this sortie did though because you can't really, like, uh, especially against Marth, you, you just gotta totally read him to get this kill, you know? You just have to out-neutral him straight up. There's not really a super clear win con when you both have the same exact sword. Absolutely, and like, not only that, you can, wise. you know, also you can actually still whiff punish a lot of the sorties. A lot of sorties um, have a lot of situations where they may be really safe sometimes, but making them whiff a lot of their aerials is probably one of the best ways to actually play against them. You know, it does look very spacious, but that's actually on shield. So definitely using that movement to their advantage can really help both X or Lunacy, depending on how you want to look at it. Yeah, you can tell X is a Marth specialist right here, especially with the back air. It's been getting like pretty much tipper every time. It's a bit of a unique hitbox because of how Marth pulls out the blade. They can get a tipper pretty close to someone if you do the starting animation. So good stuff from X right here. And right here, um. You can get an F tilt with Marth that would totally close out the stock. Or, like I was saying, knows oh. how to get that tipper back air. Absolutely. They've been on top of that tipper back air. That's two times, if I yeah, remember correctly. Both stocks. Both stocks they've actually killed with back air and a tipper at that. They've definitely been really on top of these tippers. Definitely love that. Okay. Oh my, that almost killed. Ooh, that was so close. Definitely could have ended in a really bad situation right there. And very nice wake up panting blade from Lunacy. Have to be really careful. You are going to be dead after that. But we still have Lunacy on their last stock at 84%. And this might end up in them dying if they ooh, can get the tipper hitbox. I can get the tipper I'm sorry. Of either dancing blade and or, you know, maybe back air, maybe fair. Yeah, this is tough for Lunacy because, like I was saying, you know, you don't have too much cheese in this ditto. Especially, you both have characters like you can kind of give each other, but it's not like the strongest option. You guys have pretty good recoveries, and you can't counter each other's recoveries, really. Oof, and that could happen. Rough SD right there. But, yeah, it's such a hill to climb for Lunacy, especially at least Marth has the cheese with Tipper that could take early stocks. But Lucina straight up just got to win that War of Attrition over and over and over and not get hit by a single Tipper. Absolutely. You have to be very careful with the way you are actually, um, you know, positioning yourself and where, understanding not only that, where the actual hitboxes are. So, you know, that's probably just one of the most important things, especially about playing against Marth. You know, it may be the same character, but one has Tipper and one doesn't. Ooh. So they used their double jump and they fast foul, but didn't think they used their jump? I'm confused. They, uh, they probably thought they were going to hit the ledge and it was just a little bit too mm. far. So they tried to fast fall to ledge, but uh, made a bit of a spacing error right there. Yeah, they, uh, see, they were really close to ledge. Mm. Unfortunately, they might have been holding down and you can't grab the ledge while holding down. Um, many things could have happened, but regardless, it's not like they, it was a super close game anyway, so not the most tragic SD in the world. We'll see 
um, if Lunacy is able to get some momentum on their side, because I think that really will be important, you know, in this matchup, because you're such similar characters, momentum and tempo is going to be really dictating so much. Absolutely, and we're going to Battlefield, very interesting choice, and you know, starting out with a, you know, Shield Breaker. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what confident aggression coming out. 60% already. Ooh. Getting every single tipper hit except for that last hit oh, right there. That but was a tipper, but not quite enough. That tipper can kill so early, but it's very finicky to land. Absolutely. And. Ooh. Okay. Very nice up tilt right there. Not gonna get anything off of that edge guard right there, but we still have Lunacy at their last stock, or their first stock, sorry, at 137, 145%. Still rising, and we still have to see X take off this stock. Very wow. nice out there, going to do with the tipper at that as well. With only 40%, I definitely love the way that they've been able to hold on to a, a good, generous amount of percent. Only 50% is, is not too bad. Yeah, this, I feel like Lunacy is showing a bit of fear when trying to hit um, when trying to hit X, and X is just not showing any fear back. Really comfortable and just being able to know exactly when to dash in versus Lucina, uh, and that's just what's gonna be so important is with punishing with your sword. But good stuff. Ooh, Ooh I like the attempt. A... Ooh, very nice call out on that air dodge right there. However, ooh, we still need to take off the stock. That is not going to do it just yet, but trying to... Not that sound. That was a little confusing. Yeah, some clanking back and forth. Oh, and that uh, that counter just hitting. I'm not oh. sure what a lot of the points of these... Ooh. That was so rough right there. Um, trying to counter and it actually losing the jump and gonna, yeah, and that was just a stock. So rough. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I'm, do you know what these counters are for? I'm not entirely sure. I, I think X is seeing how much Luna, Lunacy is starting to swing. It just feels like they can pretty safely do that counter right there because it's either you punish it going super deep off stage while you have a lead, or you get the counter and it's a solid spot. Wow, that tipper is somehow missing. So finicky. Ooh, gonna get hit out of that, but gotta be very careful with the way that you're choosing a lot of your options, like that shield breaker right there. Don't hold on to shield for too long. Ooh. Are we gonna see? Nope, not just entirely yet. Is that gonna kill? Absolutely. That is one of those moves that um, can be really strong with Marth versus Lucina is the Nair because you could do Nair 1, which is just like a soft hit that can then combo into the tipper of Nair 2. Um, really good stuff. And right there, we just saw X just seem to have such a confident read on aggression and it never ever stopped. Never Absolutely. once was X really stopped from his momentum. And when you don't lose your momentum, that's how you get. Uh, I think that was like a double two stock. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And? Is that gonna Oh yeah, be, this uh, is... Um, uh, yeah, that was yeah, the... Yeah, back air? Okay. Yeah, so got the kill. But this is, I think, where we're gonna see the Nair, if I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yep, the such, Nair out of shield. Such a cool option, mm -hmm. yeah. Period. Well, um, we are going to have to be switching it up for you guys here.